guys, Dr. Steph here. If you don't know me, I'm a veterinarian who loves to bake. You can find my videos with pet care topics while we bake a fun recipe on my channel at Dig In with Dr. Steph. Dog Walk Talks are short and sweet videos where we go over some veterinary myths or quick pet care topics while we take my rescue mutt out for some sunshine. If you like my videos and you wanna see more pet care topics and recipes, make sure to subscribe. And if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and leave me a comment so that I can personally welcome you to my channel. Today, we're busting five veterinary myths that you can easily find on the internet. Let's dig in. Myth number one. A dry nose means your dog is sick. Dogs normally produce a thin layer of cool fluid over their nose, which is thought to aid in olfaction, fancy medical term for smelling, and also aid in temperature regulation and keep that skin barrier nice and protected. In a normal healthy dog, you can see the amount of this fluid change throughout the day. For example, if they're sleeping or napping. And you can also see different amounts of fluids depending on the climate outside, the temperature outside, or the dog's age. So if your dog is healthy and just has a dry nose that otherwise looks normal, it's not a sole indicator of disease. If your dog's nose does look dry and maybe cracked or ulcerated, has a wound or is discolored, or if your dog has any other symptoms, of course you should talk to your veterinarian. Myth number two, garlic prevents fleas and intestinal parasites. I'm not sure where this myth began, but garlic is a well-documented toxin to dogs and cats that can cause a hemolytic anemia, which means their red blood cells can be destroyed. A lot of times when pet owners are seeking different parasite preventatives, it's because they're looking for a natural remedy and they're worried about what's in their parasite prevention. But let me tell you something, there is a reason your veterinarian recommends the parasite preventatives that they do recommend they work. Garlic has not been shown in studies to adequately repel or prevent intestinal parasites or fleas. These are not vampires, guys. These are parasites. So let's do what works. Myth number three, grain-free dog food is better than regular dog food. Grain-free dog food has gotten a lot of attention in recent years, just as in human nutrition, where gluten allergies have really gained attention. I learned nutrition from a brilliant nutritionist in vet school, Dr. Sanderson, who said, animals require nutrients, not ingredients, which means they need a complete and balanced diet. And grains are actually a really great source of those nutrients. A lot of times when pet owners are looking to get the best dog food for their pet, they're concerned about grains because they're worried their dog may have an allergy. But the reality is, a grain allergy is actually very uncommon. And most of the time, when dogs are allergic to something in their diet, they're allergic to a certain protein in that diet instead. If you wanna make sure that your dog's food is a complete and balanced diet, look for something on the side of your dog food bag called an AFCO statement. That means that the American Association of Feed Control Officials guidelines have been met and they did all the work for you to make sure that your dog's diet is complete and balanced for their daily needs. Make sure to talk to your veterinarian about what their needs are and what diet they do recommend. Myth number four, eating grass makes your dog vomit. We've all been there before. Your dog wants to go outside, eat gulp after gulp of grass, and then throws it all up. While this is true sometimes, Studies have actually shown that only a fraction of dogs that eat grass are nauseous or need to vomit. So what are the other ones doing out there? Honestly, some dogs probably just like the taste of grass. A couple of things to make sure of though. If your dog is going out to eat grass regularly, make sure it's not treated with insecticides, pesticides, or fertilizers that could make your dog sick. And the other thing too is, if your dog never eats grass and then suddenly they start eating wads of it, or they are vomiting, of course it's time to talk to your vet. Myth number five, this is my favorite one. A dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth. The truth about this one that's kind of funny is that they're both gross, just in different ways. We all have bacteria that live in our bodies and inside our mouths called commensal species. That means they're just living there, hanging out, not causing disease, just doing their thing. Dogs and humans have some overlap in terms of what species live in our mouths, but we do have differences too. Another thing, depending on your dog's lifestyle, I can tell you personally that I don't really wanna share a Sunday with my dog if they just licked something dead. If you ever feel lonely, just remember, 
we're all full of bacteria, millions of species that are keeping us company in our mouths and in your dog's mouth too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a few things about some veterinary myths. If you liked this video and want to see more dog walk talks or baking videos with pet care topics, make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. If you're a new subscriber, leave me a comment below so that I can personally welcome you to my channel. See you later.